right, so your boy was trying to sleep before 5 a.m. for once, um, but it's currently 2 a.m., and my neighbors are fucking so loud, having a fucking party and shit, um, just, uh, so we're clear here, I'm Mexican, I live in a very Mexican-heavy community, my neighbors are all Mexicans, Mexicans just, oh, any excuse to have a party and be loud and drunk and annoying, and it's, I did start Unbury Carol, and I got 50 pages in before I was like, I don't want to read anymore, it's fine, we're setting shit up, things are just starting to go somewhere, um, I really like Josh Mallon's writing, I read, I read Bird Box, and I liked his writing that, but I just didn't like the story that much, I think I might like this one better, obviously set in, like, a previous era, where they have, like, fucking stagecoaches and horses, and, like, fucking old western fucking Wyatt Earp fucking shootout fucking shit, my only issue so far was that one character who dies, like, two pages in, but they just kept calling him a homosexual, which I guess, for that time period, they didn't have other words, it was just kind of like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, I guess I am gonna vlog. We'll see how this goes. So, uh, day one, two hours in. Hell yeah. Cool. Alright, so it's currently like 2.30 p.m. on the 22nd, and I haven't read anything since I've been up. I've actually spent the last three hours watching The Greatest Showman with my mom. She'd never seen it before great movie, even greater soundtrack, but uh, now I think I might actually try to film a video because it's actually light out and I only ever film in the middle of the night, so like this could be peak YouTuber time, really. I don't know, I'll try to read later today. Probably won't happen for like hours because I'm horrible, but uh, we'll keep you posted. <laughs> you right. I'm ugly though. I'm ugly though. Um, so no reading, but um, I ordered for myself at a restaurant, so fuck you, anxiety. End it. Okay, hey y'all. The reading update is that it's almost 8 o'clock and I still haven't read anything. Kind of been out all day. So, but um, I got this new, like, lilac, light purple, pastel sweater because I went out in only a fucking thin flannel and I was freezing because I'm a little bitch and um I bought it because it reminded me of Jungu because he likes to wear this color a lot in big baggy sweatshirts and this is a big baggy sweatshirt and I'll try to read later tonight we'll see <laughs> love readathons love reading all right y'all uh <coughs> all right y'all's a reading update it is just past midnight, um, so the first day is officially over, and I did read more of Unbury Carol. I'm, like, 130 pages in, so, basically, this book is about a woman who gets buried alive, right? Um, hasn't happened yet. We're 130 pages in. Not there. Also, there's a bunch of characters that I just don't care about. Like, I'm in it. I want to see this woman's turmoil of being buried a fucking alive. So far, it's just not as engaging as the previous book I read by Bird Box. But, I mean, I'm pushing through. I'm really hoping that the once we get to the actual plot, like, the main thing that I know about this book, it'll be a lot better and more interesting and I'll actually care. So, um, I'll try to read more tonight. Probably won't. <laughs> cool. Illy <laughs> checking out. All right, it's like um 8 p.m. on day 2 of the Cramathon and I haven't read anything yet. Basically, I was just a little busy. I didn't have time to just sit down and read at the beginning of the day. And then I fell asleep for like three hours and I just woke up so I'm gonna try to wake up maybe watch some YouTube videos and then read finally am I even a reader am I even literate am I even a booktuber <laughs> yeah I am cuz booktubers even fucking read nowadays <laughs> you don't know all right yeah all right so I did read like almost 20 pages I'm like at 150 right now and um 
festive. Hey, Candy, say hi. Hello. Cool. Um, basically, she still hasn't been buried alive. I don't think I'm that big of a fan of this story so far. It's just, I don't care. They had a really cool thing to say about like guilt and not erasing your past, but if you can change, if you can make up for what you did in your past, and that's kind of cool, but like, don't get to bury her alive, please. Anyway, I need to run out. That's why I stopped reading. All right, y'all, it's like 10.30 at night now and no more reading got done because I was out for a while and then I was doing family shit because of the fucking holidays. And now I just want to shower and I might try to read. Um, I will check back in probably midnight when this day's over just to see how I did. <laughs> I'm fucking nailing my first fucking readathon. <laughs> All right. It is just past midnight, so the second day is over, and after I showered, I read like a hundred pages of this, and I have a hundred and thirty pages left, I think. She still hasn't been buried alive. We just keep talking about these fucking outlaws, and I don't care. <laughs> I thought, I legitimately thought the whole premise was that she gets buried alive, and that's what we talked about. I think on the fucking back, it's like, it's so terrifying, it's so scary and whatever the fuck like we're getting to like lead up like we got a coffin i don't think i don't know she's in it i don't think she's in it so i'm like why 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 um since i don't sleep till like 5 a.m i'm doing laundry right now so i might read more until that's done and i fold it and i can just like try to sleep but knowing my dumb ass i'll just be on my phone for the rest of the night so um that's the update so far. We're starting the third day. I haven't finished a book yet, but I'm going to probably just finish this today and then read a whole other book also today. So let's uh not actually think too highly here. So checking out. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes, work it. Yes. Work it, yeah. Give me a pose. Ooh, give me another one. Oh, hell yeah. Hello, y'all. It is currently day three, and I was out from like 7 to 10 30, busy. And so I've been home for a little bit. I was just about to start reading like 12 right now, but now I have to go do Christmas things, and I have to go bake and do family shit. <laughs> Love the holidays. <laughs> All right, so I finally finished Unburied Carol, and I'm gonna talk about it real quick. Um, basically, I didn't like it. I, the whatever the premise was supposed to be, I felt very cheated, misled. I don't think it did it. Um, basically, if you don't want spoilers, just like skip this, I guess, until this book is gone. Basically, I thought this was supposed to be about a woman who gets buried alive by her husband, and she has to like get out of that, and it's like a huge turmoil and terrifying even the reviews on the back talk about that no that does not happen she she gets in the casket but you don't hear anything about it and that's not till like the last 10 pages basically and it's a western i hate westerns so i hated the setting that might be just be a personal thing but i hated it we don't focus on her at all for the majority of the book it's all about these fucking outlaws and them trying to fucking kill each other and get even and this dumb shit and, like, when you are following her, because she's, basically, she's, why she gets buried alive and all this shit is because she, like, has this weird condition, illness, where she goes into these, like, like, death-like comas all the time. And she basically, like, is basically dead. Like, you don't feel, like, a pulse and shit for, like, it's, like, one beat per minute, basically, and shit. So she's, like, basically dead. If people didn't know about this and they saw her, they'd be like, yeah, she's dead. That shit was kind of interesting though, when she's in the coma and she's trying to fight through that and she's trying to take everything that her mom and her best friend try to teach her and she's like, what can I see, what can I do, how do I move, how do I make this happen? That was kind of interesting. Another thing that was interesting was there's this character called Rot, who's like, just like, he's like an abstract thing. Or they, they are an abstract thing. That was super interesting, I liked every time he, them, came up. And like, that was cool to read about, but everything else was just so bad. Oh my god, everybody, I didn't like anybody, I didn't hate the Western, I hated it, it was all about, the majority of it wasn't about it, it was about these damn outlaws, like, I don't care, towards the 
end, the, um, the husband, he's, like, dealing with, like, guilt and shit. That was kind of interesting because it was very, like, Edgar Allan Poe, like, Telltale Heart-esque, but, like, it didn't make up for anything. I did enjoy what it had to say about guilt and, like, how you can make up for that and shit you did in your past, but, like, honestly, not good. I think I give it, like, a 1.5. Like, a generous 2, but it's, like, more like 1.5. I just... I'm super, super disappointed in this book. I just am, like, upset. I, even if I didn't really know the preface, like, I didn't I knew, like, more, like, oh, it was just a coma-like thing and not really her being in the ground for, like, the book and she trying to get out, I still don't think I would've liked it. Like, nah. So, there's that. First book, Cramathon done. Starting off so good. So good. I'll probably read Boy the Trap Pajamas next, just in one sitting, like, later tonight, and then just go from there. So... Keep you posted. Happy Christmas Eve. I almost said Halloween, then I almost said New Year's, but. I just hit record and there is a shit ton of fireworks going on outside because it just hit midnight on the 25th. So, Merry Christmas, guys, if you celebrate Christmas. If not, um, happy whatever today is, Tuesday. I don't know why they should have fireworks. It's fucking Christmas. Chill out. Um, anyway, that means the third day is over now, and I did start the boy in the striped pajamas. I only got to read for about an hour because I filmed the video, and then I was busy doing family and Christmas stuff. The huge. But I got, I read, like, a just over 100 pages obviously it's great so far i really really enjoy it it's like a movie so um that's it i don't really have much to say i could read more now because i'm gonna stay up till like 5 a.m like i always do but like i just like to be on my phone for the majority of the time Cool. Merry Christmas, guys. So, after about, like, an hour or two of just sitting here doing nothing, I did decide to just go ahead and finish The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. It's currently 3 a.m. now, and, um, honestly, just want to cry and go to sleep, if I'm being quite honest. It's a beautifully heartbreaking book. Um, I think it translates very well as a movie. I very familiar with the movie that I've seen it so many times and this is my first time reading the book and uh, revisiting the story just hurts the main character is as complex as any child can be and that makes it hurt just a little bit more I don't know there's a lot it's late I don't think I can properly say a word other than Right, guys. Hey, y'all. Merry Christmas. It's like 7:30 on Christmas Day, and I think this is the the fourth day of the Cramathon. And um, I haven't read anything today. I haven't updated today because it's been very hectic. You know how the holidays go. Um, right now I'm feeling a little, a little weird. A little weird mindset I don't know if I want to read I might that might distract me I just have the overwhelming desire to cry I don't even think I'm gonna put this in here but uh, I wanted to read Christmas time with Anne because that's an actual Christmassy book and it's Christmas it's also a children's book so if I picked it up right now I could finish it before midnight I don't know um I'll keep you posted I guess Damn, is this that K-pop everyone's always on about? Oh, I love BTS. Wow. Tail looks real good there, wow. That, that Jimin everyone's on about? Nice. Hey y'all, it's like 5.30 on the 26th and I haven't checked in at all today because just haven't been doing too hot today. Haven't been feeling the best, but I did. Um, I did read 
Christmas with Anne. And um, it was actually not just about Anne. It was about, it was like a bunch of little short Christmas stories that all were about like the meaning of Christmas and giving and friendship and family and forgiveness and blah. Like it wasn't that it was bad. It's just that I'm a cynic and I am an asshole and I hate joy. So I was just like, ugh. Like I don't fucking care about fucking being jolly and friendly to people. Fuck that shit. Not, well, mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with that. All right, cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. What a bright time. It's the right time to rock the night away. Jingle bell time is the Swell time to go riding in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, giddy up, dinner na ma. A mix and meal at Jenna da ba. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell rock. Did you like my concert? They can't see you sticking your tongue out, I don't think so. Did you like my concert? What concert? My performance I just did. Yeah. Is it great? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Sup, y'all? Um, it's like nine o'clock right now, and I think I'll try to read some of the long walk. Um, Lil' Key can usually get through Stephen King real quickly if I just sit down, like, read. Kind of just want to shower and lay in bed and do nothing. This was, what a great time for me to do a read-a-thon. Remember, I'm going through a fucking mental breakdown. Love that shit. Yeah, probably gonna include all of that in there, too. So that way you know that I'm just not a terrible reader. It's uh, not my fault. I can't read. Okay. <laughs> Peace now. Hello, y'all. It is 3 p.m. on the 27th. And I haven't checked in yet. I've been out busy not home. So, like, I haven't been able to read. But did start the long walk, I think, last night. I don't know what time. I started it. I'm, like, 62. I'm on page 62. Exactly. I remember that. I am actually super intrigued. It's like kind of really interesting. Um, I have some theories, but I'm gonna have to read more and see. So I think I'm gonna actually probably read so much more of this and then stop, pick up a graphic novel or the comic thing and then go back to that because there's only one day left after this. And we're just trying to fucking get those numbers up. <laughs> hey, y'all. It is now midnight. So it's officially the last day of the Cramazon. And I have spent the majority of my night reading the long walk. And, like, okay, I was kind of busy for most of the evening. I was, like, doing all this stuff around the house. And then I was very distracted by Kate talking about NCT, the usual. So I finally was sitting down and I just... Oh, I am so, I love this. I'm so obsessed with this. It is such an easy book to just get so, like, into and, like, stay stuck in it and not want to stop reading. I think I have, I have, like, 34 pages left, but I'm going to film a video because, like, I need to get all of my end-of-the-year videos filmed and stuff because I'm a booktuber now and <laughs> that's what I do. So I think I'm going to film a video and then just finish this because I need to know how it ends. I have, I had series from the beginning. I still have series. I have more series. I have many of things and I'm just, I just want it to end. I need to know. So check in in a bit. All right, y'all, I lied to you. I didn't film my video. I just read the rest of this because I had like 34 pages and it's like 1230 now and I finished it and I enjoyed it's so much. It was honestly such a fucking great Stephen King. So good. Classic Stephen King, man. It would have gotten like a 4.5 if it weren't for that fucking ending. Like, I wanted something better. I wanted something more. I didn't want this fucking cop-out, dumbass ending. Like, kill them all or let my boy win. I had one boy. One boy. But <laughs> we got that instead. But it was still fucking great. So... Signing off for the night, I guess. Hello, y'all. It's like 4 o'clock 
on the 28th. Haven't checked in yet, and I haven't read anything yet. I was actually just watching Bird Box finally. Um, I had read the book earlier this year, and I was like, I had a couple issues with it. Did It was like a 2 2 one, 5 The movie strayed a lot from the book. It tried to keep key components, but it didn't really, you know, it's an adaptation. It's not going to be fucking the exact same story. But um, I did cry. Every time the children's little hands, they just saw their hands, they just cried every time. Yeah, it was fine. Um, now I might try to read one of the comics that I have. Um, we'll see. I'll keep you posted, maybe. Hello, y'all. It's like 11.30 on the 28th, and um, I didn't really read anything today because I just wasn't having the best day. I did just sit down and read 100 pages of this but I think I'm just gonna call it a night now. Like, it's like over 400 pages. So I'm like not gonna finish it tonight in the last 30 minutes. So I'm just like gonna end here. But haunt me. Can I set this up somewhere? Is that a weird angle? I don't know. That's fine. I thought I'd just um, do my wrap up for the Chromathon. Um. The first thing I finished in the Chromathon was Unburied Carol, which was 362 pages. Um, I didn't really like it that much. I gave it like a 1.5 star. It was kind of low-key disappointing. Second thing I read was The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, which was 216 pages, and I really enjoyed it. I cried. I loved it. I gave it a 4 stars. The third thing I finished was Christmas with Anne, which was cute. It was fine. That was 211 pages, and I gave it a 2 stars. And the fourth and final thing I finished was The Long Walk by Stephen King, a Richard Bachman. And I fucking really, really liked it. It was like a 4, 4.25 stars. It was so good. And then I just read 100 pages of The Werewolf um, comic, Bind Up. And so... <laughs> in total for the Crowathon was 1,280 pages read, which, I mean, I'm not mad that I didn't read, like, seven books or finish everything. Um, I didn't really care. I kind of want to do this just to push me to read more, which I guess I kind of did. Um, I tried. It's fine. Just, you know, this was a crazy week, so I'm going to take what I did read and be proud of that. And I hope everybody who participated in this did phenomenal. I hope anybody else who is just reading, trying to get those end of the year goals, finish certain things. I hope you achieve that. I hope you all had a great holiday season. That's it. Tell me about things you've read this past week. <laughs> Love you all. Goodbye. Elise signing off for the Kramathon for the final time.